Hi. Dwayne? What, what are you doing here? I don't know. I, uh... I jumped in my car, and I started driving, and the next thing you know, I was on the I-95 headed to Richmond. I don't know anybody else in the neighborhood, so here I am, here I am. I just... I don't believe this. I do not believe Wait, this. Wait, I know it's late, but what I have to say cannot wait until tomorrow Dwayne, morning. do not do this to me. I have to. Please. L listen to me. Tomorrow you're going to be... You're going to be Mrs. Byron Douglas. I just want to spend a few moments alone with Whitley Gilbert. All right. Um, when we were together, I made a lot of mistakes. But I never meant to hurt you. Well, it seems despite all our good intentions, Dwayne, we, we keep hurting each other over and over. I, I didn't realize that I was putting so much pressure on you. Well, as much as I hate to admit it, it's exactly what I needed to get my act together. Agreed. <laughs> you know, you set a standard. And I couldn't hang. Or I, I wasn't quite ready. I mean, when I first came to Hellman, you know, I was Joe Knucklehead. Goofy freshman with flip-up glasses. Couldn't buy a day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I ended up with you, free of charge. The woman I couldn't stand became my, my best friend, my girl, my lover. Even though you challenged me every step of the way, babe. <laughs> well, you know me, all or nothing. Well, you better not change. Dwayne, I thought that I would always be dependent on a man. I thought that's just the way it's gonna be. But you taught me how to depend on myself. You taught me how to love, Willie. Really. You taught me how to love. If we were all that to each other, why didn't our relationship work? Yeah, I, I don't know either. I, I, I always knew you'd make a beautiful bride with me.